Hey folks, it's Dan with DisneyInfinityCodes.com and I am here with Anakin's Light FX figure and we are going to unbox it and take a look. Anakin is part of the Star Pack for 3.0 so he hasn't had his own packaging so I thought before we ripped it open we would just take a little bit of a look at how they packaged them. Pretty much all the same information that you see on the uh, Starter Pack box but, you know, it's nice to see individual packaging there for characters that were otherwise seen inside starter packs so now that you got a look at that i'm going to tear it open i just wanted to show off the packaging first so the uh, big thing here is uh, these figures have been re-sculpted a little bit and i want to just kind of show off a comparison side by side with the original figures and kind of look at what changes they made here's the web code card so there is a web code card just for anakin as opposed to, you can kind of see it right here. Up. <laughs> That's the web code card for the starter pack. And so no telling if this code does um, any kind of special stuff in the Hall of Galactic Heroes for the iOS or PC version, or mobile or PC version of the game, if it puts in that cool base, which I'll show off in some later videos. But there you go. There is uh, Anakin's light up figure card and so here is the light up figure and so the first big thing you'll see is that there's this black base that they added um to the the figure makes it a little bit heavier makes it a bit thicker and that's where all the guts of the lights are that's where all the the wonderful happenings are is inside that and if you take a look we'll kind of get a little bit of a close-up here there are definite differences in the sculpt And it's, I mean, I know it's hard to position them both the exact same way, but you can see the light effects Anakin is bigger, for sure. That's the first thing that stands up, is he is way bigger, uh, taller. He's got a bit more thickness in his shoulders. Um, the lightsaber hilt on all the figures is also uh, bigger. Yeah, multitasking, two figures, one hand. So you can see that the saber hilt is thicker and um, this one doesn't actually the length isn't uh, change in it at all which is interesting but it is definitely the thicker and uh, bigger around because they've got to have the light in there uh, you turn it and look the colors are ever so slightly different there's a little bit of differences in the base in the base sculpt and in, in the way that the sand is wavy and, and whatnot so there, there are some minor changes all around for all of these figures um, it might be to allow for the figure the, the wiring to run through the the bases but i'm not 100 percent sure if you visit our site we'll have a nice gallery up close gallery of the figures side by side and so i've got the apple tv base here and uh what's great about that is if folks who like to display their figures is that this bluetooth base is con the nfc is constantly running on it so if you put a light up figure down on it no matter uh what if it's connected to the game, if the game's running or not, as long as it's plugged in, it's going to light up the figures. The PS Vita Bluetooth base doesn't do that. So, you know, just heads up there. So if you want to have like a cool nightlight or something, you know, um, you could just plug this guy in. Of course, if you have the Apple TV one, uh, and if not, well, then you're out of luck. But then get one because it's totally worth it. So here we go. We're going to drop Anakin on here. And right away, he starts to light up. And just right here from this angle, if I turn it ever so... You know, there you go. They're pretty much lined up, you know, particularly like where the rock is and the rock is. And you can see that they are, they have a definitely a different pose, a little bit of a different size to them. And let's kill the lights. And they've got a pretty good glow to them. I've got to say, a lot of the videos you've seen so far have been in retail stores with fluorescent lights galore. And this is uh, pretty bright. Uh, it's got a good glow going on. Um, if I... I've already opened up Obi-Wan, so let's put him on the base here. And they start to glow pretty much instantly, which is cool. You're not seeing, and here's Yoda, uh, what you're not seeing is that the um, when the base is on and the base pulses, the sabers also pulse. So they follow the same pulse pattern as the... Um, As the base when it's when the game's on and running so uh so yeah there you go there are all 
of the wave one, we'll call it, or the initial release of, excuse me, of the light FX figures. Anakin is available at Best Buy. Obi-Wan is available at GameStop. Yoda is available at Target. There have been, there are about 16 Anakins at Best Buy. There are like 26 Yodas at Target, and there are only, the first GameStop I went to, there were only four, and the next GameStop I went to, there were only five. So, uh, and the other two that uh, they, they looked up while I was there said there were two at one and six at the other. So there is, there are not a lot of Obi-Wans being stocked on the shelves. So if you want one, I would recommend you go get one, because uh, otherwise you'll be in trouble. But there you go, Anakin, Obi, Yoda. Glow, glow, glow. These are really cool, guys. Really, they are. Thanks for watching.